Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you haven't been here before. We are going to be reviewing the Pure Breeze FX Fume Extractor. Uh, this company reached out to me and asked if I would like to review this product and I was so excited and jumped all over it because safety is something that is very important to me when using epoxy products. When you mix part A and part B, you mix those together, it creates a chemical reaction that emits harmful fumes. You always want to wear a respirator in your space before you mix that part A and part B. And this machine, I do want to say up front, does not replace the need for your respirator. You still want to have that on to protect yourself whenever you are using epoxy. However, it does make it much safer for you to remove your mask once your tumblers or your products have been sitting for a little bit of time because this machine is going to pull all odors and harmful fumes out of your space. That makes it safer for you. It helps you avoid having to open a window. I have one window in my space and I do like to crack it or open it up when the weather is nice, but most of the time the weather is working against me and that's not an option. So my only option is to close the door off of from my house and it makes me a whole lot more comfortable to know that this machine is running in here while my door is closed, pulling those harmful fumes out so it's safe for my family to be in the room adjoined to it as well as me walk back in here to check on my tumblers without having to put my mask on. So when they reached out to me, I gave them a rough estimate of one to three months on when I was going to return a tutorial or a review for them, any of the social media content, because I simply wanted to make sure that this was going to perform um, exactly as it was supposed to. This is a pricey item. And I absolutely do not want to recommend anything to y'all that I don't fully believe in. Um, they were 100% okay with that because they, of course, stand by their product. And I really felt that whenever I was talking to them and asked for a little bit of time. It has obviously been well more than three months. And I don't typically come on here and talk to you guys personally. I usually have the camera facing down towards the table or I'm just showing you what we're reviewing from the camera angle. Um, but I did want to come on here, talk about this machine just a bit and just apologize to Bannerman for taking so long to do this review. I, I gave them so many excuses and although they were valid with just sicknesses, our immune systems just have plummeted. <laughs> I think everybody has or everybody's have over the past few years and Somebody has been sick at some point in time, like every other week in our house. We've lost a couple of animals over the past year and um, my job has got a lot tougher. And although those are very valid excuses, they were always so receptive and kind and always said, well, I hope you feel better. I hope your daughter feels better. Gosh, I'm sorry. I hope you get over that. I mean, they were just consistently kind. So if there has been any company that I have worked with that has been understanding and just super nice, it has been Van Pan. Um, but with that being said, I'm not the type of person that really likes to hear excuses consistently. And it was really bothering me that I was constantly telling them those things. And I stopped communication. Um, which is not like me at all. I think I just got to the point to where I was overwhelmed with everything going on. I have been overwhelmed. I know that I have slowed down on my tutorials. Um, it's just been a little much and I don't plan on stepping away from this. I don't, but I did want to come on here and just publicly apologize to Van and Man and let them know that I'm very sorry for defaulting on our original agreement and for coming on here a year later to review this awesome product. Um, I hope that all of you that may have saw a few of these reviews surface when I originally received mine and we're kind of on the edge of should I make this investment or not. I hope this kind of solidifies that for y'all because it is a very good product and I'm really excited to show y'all. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about price. Like I said, this is a, it is a pricey product, um, but it is very much worth 
keeping your family safer. Organizing my papers here. So the Pure Breeze FX HEPA fume extractor, the original price is $6.29. Now they have given us a discount, which is $5.97.55. Luckily, they did, within that time frame, add a buy now, pay later sort of deal. So you can do $99.59 a month, which makes it a lot easier to make that investment and make smaller payments on it. You should have to replace the, the HEPA filter and the charcoal odor filter within six months to 12 months but that is, like I said, very variable depending on how much that you use it. I don't see that being any less time. Um, you'll sort of know when it's time to replace your filters, when the odors start coming back, or when you notice that it's not pulling as much odor as it originally did out of your space. Um, so that's about the time that you should replace your HEPA and your charcoal filter. Um, those are $185.25. That is a bundle that is 35% off the original price if you were to purchase them separately. Um, and that breaks down to $61.75 a month. So they'd have the buy now, pay later option on that one as well. Now, like I said, it does have two filters. One is the charcoal odor filter and the other is the HEPA filter. With these, it come prepackaged or packaged separately than the machine and you do have to assemble it when it when you receive it in the mail. Um, it's good for, oh gosh, a long list of things I'm going to go through a few here, but I will have lots of links for information down below and those links will give you all of the things that it helps remove from your room. Uh, some of those things are epoxy vapor, resin fumes, alcohol, acetone, and paint odors, fine dust, epoxy particulates, created by sanding, grinding, dremeling, and more. And yep, yeah, that is pretty much everything that I can go over from here. I do want to show you the machine, of course, how it performs, how I assembled it, um, just a few things that I like about it. All of these things will be linked down below for y'all so you can read up if you want to you know, get some more information or if you feel like there's something that I didn't cover course that will be there for you or you can pop a question down below in the comments. Let's get to look at this machine. Okay so here is the Pure Breeze FX HEPA fume extractor. Whenever I received it in the mail the only thing that I had to do was put these four wheels on which was super easy. The filters slide right in here in this panel. You take these four screws off, put the filters in, screw it back up and you're good to go. The hose had to be attached and you put the dome on the end here. And then the only other thing was attaching the outlet and the push pedal. Now, if I had one thing that I would have considered a flaw way back when would have been the arm. You can maneuver this around and it will stay in whichever position that you put it. However, when I first received it, it was kind of flimsy and fell into my cups, but I got to doing my research and found that if you twist it, so if you twist this, I'm trying to hold the machine with my foot. If you twist it, it helps tighten this up. If you want it looser, you twist it the other way and it will help loosen it. You just don't want to do it too much because you don't want to damage your hose. But you can obviously see it will hold its position wherever I put it. So to work this, we're going to go ahead and plug it into the wall. I will warn you, it is slightly loud. Um, I like white noise, so it really doesn't bother me in my space. It kind of helps me focus more on what I'm doing, to be honest. But you can turn the machine on here with the on and off switch. And there are three settings. I keep mine on high. I want it to pull as much through it as it possibly can, as fast as it can, to help remove all of those harmful fumes and odors from my room. So we're going to turn it on. You can change the setting here. And you can really see 
how well it pulls that air through here. We're gonna go ahead and turn this back off. And while the machine is in the off position, while it is off, you can use the push pedal. So if you are working on your tumblers, you have a epoxy cup in this hand and wet epoxy on your glove, all you have to do is turn around, tap it, and it turns it on. When you're ready to turn it off, tap it again. Now, when I'm working on my cups, what I typically do, what I typically do is pull this over to the side. I go ahead, kind of push this back a little bit and I turn it on so that it's already working in the background while I'm working on my cups. Once I have finished epoxying my cups and torching them, I will step back, push this into place right in front of them, kind of position this right in the middle, and then I will turn it on. That way, you can even feel it pulling from way back here. So that way, I know that it is pulling all around the area that my epoxy is curing. And then that fresh, clean air comes right out here in the back. I do want this faced this way. I do not have anything that is covering... Turn that off. I don't have anything that is covering my tumblers, so I don't want any air that comes out the back side of this, which does come out with as much force as it goes in. Um, so I don't want it to be pushing anything off of the floor up onto my tumblers. Obviously, anything that comes out of this machine is going to be clean air, but it still can push up any dust particles or things that I have laying around my room onto my tumblers. So I have that just facing back this way and I have never had any issues with any particles getting onto my tumblers. If anything, it really helps pull everything away from them so I don't get those little pesty pieces of lint on my tumblers. That is all that I can think of for this machine. Like I said, I have consistently noticed that it really pulls odors out of my room especially when I'm using spray paint. I will go outside to spray paint and then I will pop my tumbler on the turner or I'll use one of these stands from Kimmy Page Boutique and just kind of sit it right over here. I'll turn my fume extractor on and it really eliminates all of those awful spray paint smells that I just, I can't stay in my room with if I don't have my extractor on. So that's one huge thing that I love about it is just really helping with those odors. That is all for this video. I hope that y'all have enjoyed this review. And if you were on the fence of purchasing a Pure Breeze FX fume extractor, I hope that this has helped solidify that decision for you because this really is an amazing machine. It really helps the safety for you in your space and your family outside of your space. Again, all of those links will be down below for you, including the discounted purchase link for the fume extractor and the filter replacements. That is all for today. Thank you all so much, and we'll see you next time.